The Ricochet Time Clock and Scheduler will allow you to track your employees' hours and build an employee schedule right within Ricochet. To start out, you will need to turn on this feature. So go to Preferences, then to Admin, then scroll down to Optional Modules and enable the Time Clock feature. Now, if you refresh the page, you'll see the time clock in the lower left-hand corner. Now, the first thing we'll want to do is assign pins to your employees to allow them to clock in and out. So, go to Accounts, then go to Users. Click the Edit button on the far right to access a user account. Then, scroll down to the User Pin field and add in their pin. This just needs to be a four-digit number. So you could use the last four of their phone number or a pin that the employee suggests. Once you click Update, you will see the pin field now has four circles, letting you know that a pin has been recorded. There will also be a field for hours, and keep in mind this is not where you build the schedules. This field allows admins to record employee hours from previous days, in case the employee forgets to log in, you can still track those hours. Below hours, there will be a report for employee hours. This is just an individual report to review employee shifts. The report section will have a report that will show all employee hours. We will review that report a little later in the tutorial. If you go back to the user screen, you will also see a clock icon listed next to each person's name. This will allow admins to clock in or clock out employees by clicking this clock icon. Once you clock in an employee this way, the clock will show green, and if it's red, it means that they are clocked out. The new routine for employees logging in will be to continue to log in using their same username and password, but once they're inside Ricochet, they will need to click the person icon in the lower left, add in their PIN, then click clock in. If they need to clock out at the end of the day or go on break, then we'll click the icon once again, add in their PIN, then click clock out. Employees will also be able to see if they are clocked in or out by seeing the red or green dot over the person icon. The Ricochet Scheduler will allow you to build out your employees' schedules one month at a time. Clicking the Time Clock icon will bring you to the Scheduler, where you can build your employee schedules. The day highlighted in yellow will indicate the current date. Clicking on any date will bring up the Employee Shift Schedule window. You can start out by selecting an employee, then choose your start and end time. You can also check the box next to any additional days where this employee will repeat this shift and choose to repeat weekly in case that is their set schedule for the month. If you do need to make a schedule correction, you can click the name of the employee to bring up the employee shift window. If you're repeating this shift across other days, then you'll see a red message that alerts you any changes to the time will also affect all other days. And if you click the delete button, it will also delete all other repeated shifts. If you just need to delete that day shift, then click exclude data. Now, if you do want to start a schedule for the next month, all you'll need to do is click the arrow in the upper right hand corner to move forward a month. Now, under the report section, you're going to see the employee hours report. This is a very straightforward report that will show you the employee the amount of shifts they've worked within the time period selected, the average length of a shift, and the total hours. You will be able to filter by store location or employee and export or print the hour lists.